Today, we are going to create a capture image. We already have Active Directory DNS DHCP running on our server. And WDS is installed. And we have a base install image. And the install image inside my default group, I have the Windows Server install image and the Windows 7 Enterprise install image. And they all get loaded with this 64-bit architecture Windows setup boot image. The boot image is what loads when you boot a computer or workstation up over the network. So once a computer boots the boot image up over the network, it shows us which installation we want to install. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this boot image and we're going to modify it. So instead of showing us what operating systems we can install, we're going to choose what hard drive we want to copy up to the server. Because we've worked hard at creating a nice golden image or a nice golden installation of Windows 7 with Office and with all the different apps and browsers that we want our users to use. We now want to be able to capture that so then we can disperse it through the rest of the network to all the other workstations. So that's the process we're going to demonstrate today. So the first thing you do is right click on the boot image and you're going to select create a capture image. And I like to call this the capture image and the description used to capture a clean, perfect installation of a workstation. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create this image file, a WIM file. Remember the WIM files were the original files we used and we pulled those off of the Windows 7 sources folder off the Windows 7 DVD install DVD. So we're going to be using those same files but we're going to be modifying it slightly. So we have to create a WIM file and we're going to be storing this on the on our server somewhere and that's what this option here is asking us. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to put this on my WDS data drive. I'm just going to put it right on the root. I'm going to call this capture image and it's going to be a WIM file. So I hit open. So that's the file that's going to be created during this process. So I hit next. And now it's extracting the image from the source file. And then as soon as it's done, it's going to modify it. So it will do the capture portion instead of the install portion. Now that it's done, if we take a look on my second drive, here's the capture image file, and it's 155 megabytes in size. So that's the file that was created, and that's the file that will load when I reboot one of my workstations. I close that. Now in this wizard, it says it's done, but it gives me the option to add this image to my WDS server. So I click this option. And hit finish, and now I hit next, and next, and next, and it will add it now as an alternate boot image. So I'll have two of them, the regular Windows setup image and now my capture image. So I have two of them. So now if I switch over to my workstation, here I have just normal Windows 7 installed. I installed a special version of Google Chrome. And if I just reboot this, and I want to make sure that I go into settings and set it to boot to the network. Okay. So when it comes up, it's going to boot up to the network. And we're going to see we get to choose between the original install boot image or the capture image.
So here it is. Now with the original default configuration that we set up with WDS, we only had this option, the Microsoft Windows setup image. And here is our new capture image. So I've hit the down arrow. I can hit enter on this and it will, lo it will load the, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, the capture image .wim file that I created. So now it's loading that and we'll see what happens here. And here it shows me the Windows Deployment Service Image Capture, which is different than it was before. And this gives us a, a little wizard or a little option here to choose what volume or what hard drive to capture. So all I need to do is hit the down arrow and I can select the volume. Oh, it's not listed. That is because if you read the note, it says you will only see volumes that contain operating systems that have been prepared for or prepared by SysPrep. So that leads us to the next topic on how do we prepare our Windows 7 workstation to be captured. And we'll talk about that in the next video. So now I just hit cancel and nothing's changed and I'm not able to capture this workstation because I haven't prepared my Windows 7 workstation to be captured. We'll talk about that in the next one. So I cancel and it will just reboot.